Hello, I'm Vikas Kron here. This video is going to outline the importance how to select the ram. Choosing your rams carefully is very important. They are going to determine the quality of your ewe flock from retained ewe offspring. A good ewe flock is the critical part of your lamb production enterprise. This is a self-replacing breed and as such, the Dorper ram does not take the role of the usual meat production ram, which is a terminal sire. Terminal sires only affect the quality of the lambs to be killed, but a Dorper sire affects the quality of your lambs to be killed and more importantly, your future breeding use. So when looking at a ram, we always should start at the head. The head tells the story of the body that follows. There are many correlations between the head and the body. And it is proven by Dr. Quinton Campbell with all his trials and measurements and also by my own observation through the years. So a longer head is directly correlated to longer in the neck, longer in the body, longer in the rump, body weight, much better growth rates and in the end a lot more money in your pocket and we want strong jaws so strong jaws are directly correlated to growth rates correlated to better converters of feed stronger boned animals more muscled and non-selective feeders while when they are finer or weaker in the jaws they have less growth less weight, less muscle, and finer boned animals. Then a wide head, so width in the head, correlates to a wide body, better eye muscle development, and a deeper body, better sprung of rib, better growth rates, wider on top of the rump, which all means more money in your pocket. And on the other side, a narrow head, directly correlates with a flat-sided animal, less muscle, less weight, a weaker sprung of rib, and cylindrical sheep. And then we can go to the ears. Long ears are directly correlated to good temperament and also good bone structure because the ears is cartilage and cartilage is part of the bone structure. And that is the reason why we always start in the head. And if we can quickly recognize a good quality head, it will make it so much easier for you to identify quality rams. But then because this is such an important decision affecting your flock, we need to look at the rest of the body to make sure everything is as good as we can get it. So just to recap quickly, a ram must have a good quality head, which is long and wide, with a strong jaw that bites correctly. And then we go down to the neck. We have to have a good neck, which is of a good length, well fleshed and well coupled into the body, neither too high or too low. Now we are going to the forequarter. Ear structure is of the utmost importance as it will determine if the ram will have a long life and give you years of service or not. The shoulders is only coupled to the body by muscle and a membrane. So that is why structure is so important. So looking at the ram from the front, his front legs must be straight and not too wide strong with good muscling on the shoulder. And a good wide brisket is also desirable between the front legs. But we don't want the front end to be too wide, otherwise we have birthing problems in the lambs. So moderate width is very important. And when looking at the ram from side on, and you draw a line vertical from the hoof directly upward, the line should end up on top of the shoulders and not in the neck. 
If it is in the neck, the structure is wrong and the ram will break down. That is the easiest way to determine if the structure is right from the side. A protrusion of the brisket in front of the legs is required so that the legs is well coupled to the chest. And that is also a very easy way to determine if the legs are not too far forward. And now we are going to the body or the barrel. We want it long, deep and wide. All these three is directly correlated to growth and weight gains, which means more money in your pocket. And we want very well developed loins. Well developed loins is directly correlated to growth and weight gains also. And we are looking for a nice square top line and the shape and the depth of the loins is important. So when possible, see if there is eye muscle depth scanning data available. Next is the rump. The rump needs to be wide and square. A wide rump is correlated with good eye muscle. The right shape is correlated to good growth and weight. A long rump is directly correlated to good weight and growth and directly correlated to easier lambing in the ewe offspring. That is proven with measurements and trials. Well developed outer twist and inner twist of the muscles on the hind leg are also desirable. And then we want a deep flank. A deep flank is directly correlated to good weight, thicker muscle in the flank, and also thicker muscle on the ribs and better body fat. Body fat play a very important role in the drier areas and it play a very important role in hardiness, adaptability and everything the dorper stands for. The sheep with a lot of body fat can go a longer way, they have the ability to grow up their lambs better, they have the ability to grow their twins better, they just a good doing sheep. Body fat is very important. The stance of the back legs is important. And then the quality of the feet is a reflection of the quality of the structure of the animal. If you've got good feet, you will have a good structure. And that really reflects on the animal's walkability too. And then a sound set of testicles is absolutely critical. Size is important and we have breed standards that lays out the minimum sizes of the circumference of the scrotum in certain ages. A ram lamb has to be a minimum of 29 centimeters. A two tooth ram should be a minimum of 32 centimeters. Four tooth rams should be a minimum of 33. And six tooth rams and older should be a minimum of 34 centimeters. And that is because also the size of the testicles is directly correlated to fertility. There's three magical words for cover, short, loose, and light. And preferably with that, we want a clean belly. A clean belly reflects the heat that comes off, off the ground. And also it doesn't pick up any burrs. A sheep with a nice mixture of hair and wool always do better. If they are too clean, they tend to be a dry sheep, which means they do not have enough body fat. And the same if they have too much wool. They also are too dry and do not have enough body fat. So rams with a short, loose and light cover with a mixture of hair and wool are better growers. They are more hardy and they have the right amount of body fat. And then overall, the ram must have a masculine shape and good balance. A masculine shape is deeper in the chest and lighter at the back just the same as human beings. We don't want a feminine shape in rams because a feminine shape in rams, his offspring, his ewe lambs will have less milk and less fertility. So a masculine shape, a masculine ram is very important. Good quality dorper rams are an investment that will pay you back with faster turn of lambs, a better yielding carcass in the abattoirs and will last you longer because you get more years of service from them and most importantly breed you better replacement use which improves the overall quality of your flock. 
Sometimes a bargain priced ram will be the most expensive ram you will buy. The progeny will not be up to standard and then the replacement use out of that ram will not be up to standard and for the next six to seven years they will breed you inferior lambs and inferior replacement use if they do not break down. You will lose the weight and growth gains across your flock that you could have had with a better ram. Your progress will be slow if any is made at all. Lambs will grow slower and you will lose money because of low weight gains and growth rates and you will have poorly structured replacement use that have to be culled prematurely. So buying a better rams means you have better growth in progeny, very good replacement use, good structure, more fertile use, better carcasses, and your excess ewe lambs for sale will be more valuable and you will make more money. So always buy the best rams you can. And the genetic fact is a ram breed back to the average of the flock he comes out of. So again, always buy the best ram you can. The next and final segment of this introduction to Dorpers will be about ewe selection.